Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, welcome to big fluid art, this little big pigments collaboration. If you didn't check Shelly from Shelly Art, the founder of fluid art CEO, CEO I, I, I just can't pronounce this, I don't know how this is pronounced because, you know, I'm from Slovenia. <laughs> Um, we already, um, where I were, where I was, uh, she did, she did a video from all eight, for all eight new pigments that are released today, so you can already order them. Uh, I have those samples that we get and we did. A reveal color reveal video uh, 14 days ago I had this afterglow to to use um, and I did this just this little little flower to show this beautiful peachy neon pink and after me will be Reina the witch of three dots uh, and Garrick Brown Art Studio and Gina De Luca so make sure that you will check them too and tomorrow another four or five artists and the next week on Saturday on and Sunday that you will see a lot of different techniques, a lot of different ways to use these little pigments and I will use today Afterglow and White Haven uh, because these two are must for me uh, but the um, other six colors are Brulee, Zeus, Agapanthus, Echeveria, Hammerhead and Show Pony. So if you want to see other colors you, you will have to check other artists too. But all those pigments are just amazing and uh, they are not just for blooms, you know, because uh, uh, normally uh, people that do blooms use those uh, piggies, but I use it in my pores too, so um, how I mix them, I, I showed in reveal video, this is, uh, I use uh, Vallejo polyurethane satin varnish or gloss varnish, what do I have? and my pouring medium and this is the beauty beautiful afterglow color and I'm using this fluid art CO stir sticks because they are just good 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 and life is happening outside that's how it is here in suburb Slovenian place so this is one little piggy pigment that I will use and the second one is White Haven I just love this beachy white beachy beach white <laughs> sand white I will cut this out And this is White Haven, sandy white, it's kind of white but it has a gold kind of shimmer, it's just gorgeous. You will see it at the end of my video and I will show you the dry result and I will do a split kapoor. And other colors are Vallejo, Magenta, Amsterdam, Permanent Blue, Violet and Artist Color Prussian Blue. 
and I will do a split cup with five chambers and kind of walk a little bit on this um, 12 by 16 inch canvas. So I will pour my Russian blue in the first chamber and blue violet in the second one. And after glow in the middle one. And magenta next. And White Haven, and I need to add a little more of this blue. No need to, but to have the same amount, uh, it's always so interesting to play with new colors, new pigments. This is my... Oh, how my cup looks. And hopefully we will get something nice out of it. I just have to put my gloves on, otherwise I will have paint all over my hands again. Okay. So let's start.
and of course I will pour some white around for the flow extender that I can keep as much as my as the as much of the pattern that I like just have to grab my palette knife I need a little more on this side because I went a little bit on and I always try to marry this because otherwise you know you can lose some of the pattern and my hands are always shaking when I stop this I know I um, I normally speed up this process but this time I didn't just that you will see how slow or fast I pour and that you will see how long it takes <laughs> to pour the paint out of the split cup if you want I like this uh, feathering that's why I pour from up high and kind of slow because uh, if you pour faster the result is different if you pour uh, closer to your uh, canvas the result is different so all those things matters just have to find some cardboard to, to have a corner catcher kind of. I'm just I'm just using those you know from canvases. this baby I love those feathers in the white haven parts so much So far so good and now I will walk I will not just you know go down just a second have to zoom out a little bit okay
I just want to stretch this part, this part a little more. This part is not my favorite, but I hope because I see so much beautiful shimmering already that I believe that it will be gorgeous too. So I will take you down for the close-up of the wet result. So here is wet results I know that you can't see a shimmer probably but I will show it to you when it's dry and the sides are covered nicely Wow, those lines. So this is the part that I'm not this part, you see. Totally fan of, but I believe that it will be beautiful when it will be dry. that no it's okay because I will show you the dry result and the shimmer because I already see it and it's so gorgeous what about this way Wow, 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 I love it. So, stay tuned for the dry result. Before I show you the dry result in the sun, I want to share with you this one too that I did with afterglow I don't see anything in my camera with afterglow and white haven and some purples and yellow just want to show you how this piggies add a lot to other colors I'm not happy with the composition of this painting Ooh. but definitely gorgeous gorgeous glow into this paint so I will try to do another one with this colors you see how afterglow is 
changing from this peachy color to neon pink and um, the shimmer and everything is just gorgeous so just want to share these two to honor these piggies um, and because the team was my uh, hometown I live in Slovenia in Lendava um, do you see this bird here and because you hear a lot of birds around that sings when I film my videos maybe this one is representing my hometown more um, we have a lot of you know fields and nature but it's hard to represent it with the pink <laughs> but my imagination has no bond boundaries so I represented my hometown like that so now to the painting that you saw me do so here I am inside on the sun to show you all the glory of this piggy pigments this afterglow is amazing and whoop <laughs> and the white haven the same they are just this piece turned out so dramatic but so beautiful of course if you are a pink or purple person I hope that because I don't see much because of the sun but this is just amazing you see this peachy tone in the afterglow just gorgeous Wow uh, Don't forget after right after me is Reina and then Garrick and Gina You will find the links to all the artists in this amazing collaboration into the description box and huh, I think that afterglow is something that you have to have and of course white have haven the same because it's just beautiful This is it from me. See you on the next Reina's premiere. Bye.